Hello traders my name is Ray better known as Samurai Trader and I love day trading my job is to teach you how to day trade the world's best day trading strategies no matter which market you trade futures Forex or stocks now as we get underway make sure that you do subscribe to my channel by clicking on the little red button below to make sure you keep up to date with my most recent videos on the how to day trade your way to financial freedom particularly now because this is session one of probably you got what is probably going to be around 10 sessions on the world's best day trading strategies the series that all really the purpose of this series of videos is to give you an overview of a whole range of different trading strategies and methodologies and the great news is you don't need to invest a fortune in indicators or expensive software for them the best things in life are free that is some of the best indicators are available on every trading platform so we're going to be exploring those over coming sessions and how you actually trade using them so as we get underway let me just pull this down uh, there is a risk in trading by the way I know you can see this on the site here I'm trying to get a uh, full screen YouTube has uh, informed me that um, to get higher resolution you've got to be a certain size and I should just mention all of my videos are raw real and unedited so if I fluff up anything on the way through you're going to have to forgive me or put up with me so very quickly a quick advertisement make sure you go to my website or click on the description link below and get a free copy of my training manual and also my ebook the truth about day trading even better still I mentioned earlier make sure you subscribe to my channel visit my website my trading program traders and I'll be very very quick I promise you is a $10,000 plus program I've been doing this now for 27 years wait until you see the content there is nothing else like this globally and my whole program is only $197 and on top of that I also give you eight live coaching sessions that is each week I run a private group coaching session which I've been running now for about uh, two and a half years and I have around I think it's about 220 traders each week attend so uh, included in my program is uh, eight sessions so one month of coaching after one month if you wish you can continue for only $97 a month there's nothing like it so you're getting four hours a week of live coaching if you can't attend the live sessions as we've got traders from all around the world different time zones uh, you can watch the recordings plus these dozens of handouts and extra powerpoints etc as I said traders as you're about to see there is nothing else like this globally now if you're an experienced trader please watch um, as I go through things okay what I'm trying to say here I suppose is so many traders are oh, this isn't for me and they flick away yet they, have, they don't really know what this video is really going to show them in other words I don't know how long this will take us the first one look we might be on it for 20 minutes 30 minutes but stay with me because I'm going to start to teach some ideas and strategies just that one idea will make a massive difference or could make a massive difference to your trading so let's get underway so traders there are four key considerations for a trader no matter which market you trade uh, that is are you day trading or scalping that is going in there and scalping small amounts of profit um, uh, on the right market and there are certain markets you should stay away from you know most of my traders are day traders or scalpers and so you need to make sure that you're trading the right market you need to make sure that you're trading using the right charts and of course you can use a time-based chart tick which is one of my favorites range volume and Renko is another one of my favorites however you can make money on all of those and so very very important is you've got to find a chart type that really suits you the next thing is you need the right indicators and I just need to show you this unfortunately so many traders uh, when you look at this screen it looks like this there are so many different indicators that they have on their charts most of them are lagging and many of them you never actually use and so it's very very important traders that you keep it simple 
and so in a moment we are going to be going to the charts and looking at my chart and we'll discuss some of the indicators and in, in coming sessions we'll really drill down deep on what are the best indicators to use when it comes to day trading they also need the right strategies traders let me tell you now there are literally hundreds of trading strategies that do work and if you go to my website you'll be able to see some of my videos and some of the photographs of my library uh, and you will see you name it I've probably invested in it I've been in a fortunate position in life where I've been able to invest in just about everything having full-time traders work for me programmers etc and you'll get to see more of that as we go along and here's what I've discovered and I think Gann famously said it first of all there's nothing new under the Sun meaning most indicators are a derivative of price there are very few true leading indicators and there's challenges with leading indicators also moving or getting to a trade too early so we're going to be talking more about that as we go along so let's discuss the trading strategies themselves first of all complexity is your enemy any fool can make something look complicated it's hard to keep things simple that was said by Richard Branson and it's true some of the best strategies are some of the simplest that's right they are the simplest and so don't get caught up with that you need to spend five to ten thousand dollars now I'm not saying on indicators now I'm not saying there's not some great tools uh, like um, trade master by Roy Kelly and some indicators like it are very very good however as a new trader or one that really just wants to trade with pure price action and just use the tools that are available in every charting platform they virtually you've got everything that's needed is free now these are really the main um, uh, trading conditions that we have and setups that we need to um, uh, make sure that we understand that is first of all we've got what we call trend following so following the trend then you've got what we call trend continuation after you have a pullback or a retracement the trend continues then you've got breakout trades that is where you've had a pullback you want to confirm that the move is underway and you wait for a break of a swing high or a swing low to confirm the move now after the move then you have a reversal you have divergence trading and divergence trading is probably the greatest killer of trading accounts there is because traders just want to be able to pick the tops and bottoms uh, you need to learn to be what I call a sniper rather than a hunter you've got to wait for the trade to come to you now there's some excellent strategies on divergence however new traders should stick to trading with the trend then of course we've got range bound and that is when we're in chop we see our EMAs our moving averages going sideways price action is going sideways and our highest probability generally speaking for newer traders is trend continuation and trend following strategies now this is an excellent book that actually one of my members put me onto uh, just a few weeks ago and I've never seen this book and it's really good and as you will see in coming sessions and when you become a member I've got hundreds of books in my library literally and you'll get to see that literally it's true I used to own a traders book library so um, a library of trading books which I used to um, uh, lend out to traders so I've got this big library and I hadn't come across this particular one and I just thought I'd bring up a couple of things out of his book uh, I was reviewing it for a coaching session tomorrow and what I loved about what he had to say was there are two key things in his book number one is core position that is money management and how many uh, uh, contracts you're trading or uh, at the time and what we call 80 or what he calls 80 20 trades that is waiting for the best the ones that have got an 80 percent chance of winning and as he says in the book I'm a sore loser I do not trade 60 40 situations and sh you shouldn't either so what's really important to get those 80 20 trades is 
trade with the trend buy the dips sell the rallies <laughs> for rennies the rallies I should say um, traders what's um look can you make money divergence trading absolutely and I'll show you this you can do really well with divergence trading however you want to start your trading career by picking the low-hanging fruit okay as we say here the trend is my friend go with the flow of a river don't fight the current and I think this little diagram that I come across on the internet one day um, really covers it really well the dark blue line represents trading in the direction of a higher time frame so that is the higher time frame and there's an excellent book here by Robert Miner where he talks about that that is using the lower time frame we call it the EC the entry chart for entering and managing your managing your trades trading in the direction of the higher time frame and as this also excellent book here trend following says how great traders make millions in up or down markets trend following but what happens is so many newer traders or traders that have been struggling get caught up with the CT trading the counter trend trading now if your trading career has not been good for you up to now or if you're a brand new trader or a new trader I want you to make particularly this book the disciplined trader your trading Bible his other book trading in the zone is also excellent by Mark Douglas unfortunately we lost Mark he passed away just a couple of years ago at quite a young age uh, but these traders um, these are probably the best books I've ever read on trading psychology now the reason I bring this up is this my job as your coach is to guide and direct you and to really to coach you to success my job as your coach is to teach you real rules based trading strategies that's right you want to be trading strategies that are rules based now here's what Mark Douglas says in his book what you want to do is become an expert at just one particular pattern that repeats itself with some degree of frequency to become an expert choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical in other words one that is rules based now he says down here it's important to avoid all other possibilities and information in other words focus on that one pattern and become an expert at that one pattern now this will be the bottom line result let's just say here you start off with a small account trading the micros and if you trade Forex you can just treat this exactly the same way okay if you target $50 a day you started with a 1700 account say on Forex you're trading the micros okay uh, or on futures you're or actually the minis I should say uh, minis on Forex uh, micros on futures $1700 uh, account and earning only $50 a day that's 227 trades a day we call them 2Bs now by the way you'll hear me quote a lot of codes now the code is not there to confuse you it's just to make the name easier for our members um, and so you'll hear me talk about a 34B or a 21B they're a simple setup once you understand what the codes are so it's really straightforward okay but the bottom line here is this if you start with 1700 and earn just $50 a week and you leave that sorry $50 a day and you leave that in your account by week 30 you've got the potential of earning 10,000 a week that is every time you double your money you start trading another contract now I have to tell you this you would not end up trading 60 uh, uh, micro lots you would actually be end up trading six big contracts okay so for the experienced traders here I'm not saying when you get down here to be trading 100 micros okay you'd be trading 10 big contracts but you'd be you'd have in your account $17,000 per contract you're trading now what if you earn $75 a day you're there in 19 weeks what if you earn a hundred dollars a day you're there in 13 weeks having the potential of earning 10,000 a week so how do you do that we start of course with 
for trading strategies so let's go to the live charts and let me start when it's going to come up here whoops uh, there we go so let's have a look at this now traders first of all I just want to explain something here the indicators that I have on the screen here all of these lines here are just simple EMAs in fact you don't even really need to have uh, that one there I do like okay so there's five that I do want to have on my screen the white paint bar you see there is called my super scalper now by the way I've got that for MT4 I've got it for trade station for ninja trader uh, and uh, and think or swim in uh, so I've got a version for it for think or swim and uh, MT4 and I've got my own coded version for ninja trader and trade station all my indicators by the way are included uh, in my 197 so there's no upsell for indicators and all that sort of stuff now see that blue line there and that little white dot line do you know all they are are moving averages and this is a concept that I actually got from Jake Bernstein now Jake's been around I think in the trading industry for for uh, 52 or 55 years he's been in the business for a long long time and so what I've got here on the left is what we call the EC the entry chart so I've got an entry chart I've got an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two now if you're a new trader you can really start off with just having two charts up but it's very very important traders that you learn to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame now I know we can look at this and say yep that's a nice little divergence trade anyone can pick that well maybe when you're experienced okay but when you're a newer trader these can be difficult and tricky now what I've got there is a tick chart what's very important traders is that with the trading strategy that you're trading is that you understand the trading chart times that you've got that is there are or should be using I should say my apologies there are basically three trading sessions the futures market are, op are open nearly 23 hours a day uh, five days a week and of course Forex is basically 24 five days a week 24 hours a day and uh, what we've got is different trading sessions and they move at a different speed now this is what we call a 233 tick which this has been going now for what's that um, about uh, four hours so you can see there's very little movement in that four hours however we go back uh, to the and it's been a fairly low volume day today if we go back uh, that there is over 18 minutes okay during the New York session now a 233 tick is usually a little bit too slow for the New York session and likewise the 233 during the uh, Asian session before we head into London which is only in an hour or so is usually a bit slow also so um, sorry uh, the 233 is too fast I should have said as you can tell I don't have a script there in front of me traders so uh, usually we'd be using a higher time frame so you need to understand the time frames that you trade you then also need to understand the best chart types to use if you're a new trader I recommend you start off by trading with tick charts and Renko now if you look at this here look how smooth this is this is called a Renko chart okay now one of the challenges with Renko is that you can also give away a lot of information it's, Renko is beautiful for smoothing out price action but you can lose a lot of information as well and that is where as you gain experience you will have preferably at least two screens one to have your tick chart set up and one to have your Renko set up now if you're an experienced trader uh, and say so if you're using volume you continue to use volume or if you use time-based charts you'll continue to use your time-based charts unless you decide to move over now this is something I wanted to show you traders there are literally hundreds of trading strategies okay and and indicators these are the indicators I've either coded or purchased over 
the years I have hundreds of them I've got trading strategies I've got show me I've got paint bars okay and so this is where when I'm sitting here and telling you I'm going to give you the best of the best I will tell you and give you the best of the best and the best thing is there's no need to go out there and spend a fortune on indicators save your money for your trading account so let's just have a quick look before we finish up today in this session I'm already 20 minutes in um, uh, I just want to talk to you about some of the strategies so let me pause this because I want to bring over another screen okay here we go so what we're looking at here is the micro Nasdaq now what's really important is that the strategies I'm going to be teaching you work on all markets does not matter and this is a concept that traders really have trouble getting their head around it doesn't matter which market you trade every market is fractal in nature um, and as long as you've got a market the trends I mean that's one of really the key things I hate chop I hate range bound markets I really don't like them I want to have a market where we've got this where we got the waves you know the way I look at it I'm like a surfer I'm waiting for these waves now what you're going to learn traders is how to trade these and see these black lines every trader would have picked these there are particular reasons why you took those and not these now these these here are called 34 B's great trades but these here are called 2 B's probably the highest probability trade you'll ever come across okay and look there's a loss there by the way uh, there is a loss but there were just winner after winner and every person would have picked them now is it because of some super trading robot no in fact most algorithms or, or trading strategies unless you're scalping and are an algorithmic trader fail and the reason why most robots fail is that the markets don't trend all the time now most robots are fantastic or, or algorithms are fantastic when you've got a trendy market uh, now if you're set up right next to the exchange in Wall Street yes you're going to do because that much better because your reliance on microseconds to get in and out to, to really scalp pennies that's how they make their money so traders you need to tr learn how to trade manually that is picking up and learning what these patterns are now you also need to learn which pattern and at what circumstances is going to give you the best move remember earlier when I showed you the uh, slideshow there about earning 50 to 100 dollars a day um, uh, trading just the micros which allows you to really get underway with around 1700 dollars We'll see this little um, this little this little trade just here or even that one or that one now the each one of these steps here is traders you can see there it may not look like much but each one of those we call them steps okay because it just makes it easy it looks like a staircase is worth four dollars so if you go and pick up ten steps that's forty dollars just two of those a day less your commissions there's your seventy five dollars go and get uh, what's that two three four of those a day there's over your one hundred dollars now how you make sure you maximize these moves is by what is happening on your higher time frame what's happening on the higher time frame now there's a formula that we use whether it be Renko whether it be tick whether it be time-based charts that you use and it's a really simple formula now just here see that there that one there and that one there now if we had have taken this trade we would not have been in the silver third candle but one two three four five you're a break even by the way six seven okay we were a trace so we either would have picked up uh, seven or probably what we call five steps which is only twenty dollars because we do have rules for when we go to break even and we don't want to give all of that back so let's just go for the worst case here it was twenty dollars uh, this one here was one two three four five six seven eight again look you would have walked away with seven under our rule seven ticks which is twenty eight dollars now 
then you have the open now I call the New York open for most markets I call it the killing field now this is actually it may not look volatile here and the reason being on the micro here this is a four point Renko which is 16 ticks which is very high time frame may not look like it if you're trading a normal day trading chart it's really easy to get chopped up it's going like this but we're trading a higher time frame but what I wanted to say was this where I've marked these up here there there let's just go and have a look for a moment at our anchor charts because this is part of a pattern that appears and it allows you to maximize a trade there are certain trades where you say okay I'm going to go in here and scalp either $20 or $200 out of it okay and they're very very easy to learn they're rules based now let's start with that one there now first of all note here how I'm touching my EMAs and note here how the tail is touching the two EMAs there thank you very much see here again there and there now we now go all the way up here and yes we did have trading opportunities along here but I'm, I'm just going to show you uh, the really easy ones that I recommend a new trader should be trading to begin with what's really important you start off and you master the market with one setup as you learn and master that one setup then you'll go to the second one now here for an example these are what we call two B's now there see how I'm touching the EMAs here see up here I'm touching it again and bang there is another one and bang here is another one where I'm touching now these two B's one two three four five six seven and how it actually works once we hit five steps if you're trading multiple contracts you want to lock in your first profits because here um, uh, what's really important of course is three things where's my entry where does my stop loss go and where do I exit the market if you're trading this particular strategy that I'm I'm focused on right now I'm talking to you about it's called the 2b the huge advantage of a 2b it's very easy to learn extremely reliable it's a good 75 to 85 percent trade and it's it gives you time to think if you're a new trader okay it's it's reliant on a deeper pullback and it's trend following so my entry is on the close of the third I'm in on the fourth I know they're called bricks but I call them candles my stop goes just below here okay one or two ticks below the low you can have a tighter stop I prefer to be generous now with this it means that my stop loss here is to is uh, $25 or thereabouts within a within 50 cents either way now hang on but if you only go for five steps that's only $20 yes traders but when you look at the reliability when you do get them at five steps it kicks but okay very very high probability okay and then you'll get your runners now there are times when we go for the runners I want you to remember this it's called follow the gold see the gold EMA there and see it there when you have a bounce off multiple EMAs on here and on this time frame our anchor chart now is the time to go for a runner now 10 steps there as we go down it's more than that that's $40 okay and of course there we've got seven plus down there to the pivot uh, down there to the uh, floor pivot but this is the one trade okay that you master to begin with just one trend following and we build and develop you from there now here is as I mentioned a loss but there's been very few losses and today uh, volumes uh, for the New York session were actually down we only had that uh, was at 1.1 million uh, ES contracts traded today we normally it's around one and a half to 1.6 million so it's rather a low volume day which can generally lead to a lot more chop so 
uh, traders um, we'll finish this video up here the point I wanted to get across to you is this there are so many great trading opportunities in stocks futures and Forex it's a matter of just mastering just one or two setups remember um, uh, the great movie with Billy Crystal in it and the late Jack Balance uh, city slickers where riding back uh, Jack puts up his finger and says do you know what the secret to life is and he holds up his finger and Billy Crystal's character says your finger he said no one thing just one thing you master that and the rest don't mean shit that's literally what he said now what it means to us traders is you just need to master one strategy one reliable trend following strategy now every trader has a different personality as far as some prefer to have more time for an example in my coaching room I mentioned I've got over 200 traders in there uh, the average age group is 50 to 75 now we've got some young guns who really love scalping it is where they're scalping the lower time frames okay they're in and out in and out but they're happy to do that but the more mature old dogs in the room they want to have more time to think about it okay so they will trade a higher time frame but no matter which time frame you're trading the exact same strategies work you just have different time frames so in my next video we're going to then start to drill down even further about and on how do we identify a trend and which then trade setups are we going to trade because traders we have a number of different types of trend following strategies we've got what we call a 21b a 34b a slingshot uh, an 89b and a 2b don't be fooled by the names they're simple and straightforward and you may think well why have a number of trading strategies can't you just get away with one absolutely but I suppose for the full-time traders or those that end up going full-time it's a little bit like a tradesperson with the toolbox so I've got different tools in there for different trading conditions and so what's important is that over time you learn these different setups and I think it's um, something that I really get through to um, my coaching members is that you've got to treat this uh, mastering the art of day trading is really a 60 to 90 to 180 day internship and one of the greatest killers of traders and their accounts is greed and impatience they're impatient they're not willing to use a simulator they're not willing to master one thing they're always after the next best thing that's out there it's what I call the shiny object syndrome so traders we will wrap this up we're up to 33 minutes so I'll see you in session two better still become a member okay and make sure that you subscribe to my channel and download my ebooks so we can keep you up to date thanks traders <music>